It's a freaking double beer! Woo! Alright, we are headed in. Um, got up at 2.45 this morning. Been hunting public land every morning. And been up at at least 3 o'clock in the morning for the past five days. Uh, this morning I got up at 2.45 and headed to North Alabama. So... Uh, I'm on some private land today, and it's right at 5 o'clock. We're going to slip in here to this back field. There's a big bluff basically on the back side of this property that's all hardwoods and butts up to a management area. So we're going to slip in there and uh, get set up, wait for gobble time and see what happens. I've not been on this property this year, so... Um, not sure what the birds roost at or anything like that. So we're, anyways, we're going to get packed up, get in here, get set up and ready for a gobble time. Y'all come with us.
These birds make us do some stupid stuff. Don't make for a long day. When you get the show that I just got right here in this field, the birds would not commit. They came right out in this opening and strutted and gobbled and that was it. They ducked back, so I made a loop around, dipped off in the creek and got over to this other field where they moved back to and get across the creek and they're like 200 yards the other side of that field. They started gobbling and uh, one of them come out and strut. I didn't get none of it on video. But one of them come out and strutted. I, I dipped back off the edge of the field where I had a opening. Back down to the creek. Went down the creek bank. Come back up to the field. Should have been in shotgun range. They done moved again. So, <sighs> so far this morning I missed the bird at fly down. Made me sick. Had three more that were just burning the woods down. And I don't have a bird. <laughs> I, I don't I don't get it. But we're gonna go back here soaking wet and just set up and see if anything gobbles and if anything wants to commit. So I'm here for the day. Might as well make the best of it.
you, Lord. Goodness. It's a freaking double beer. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. <gasps> oh my goodness, what a turkey. <sighs> thank you, God. Oh. Hey, I just killed a turkey. Oh, good job. Oh. Where up? Up on top of the mountain, I just hiked up. That's exciting. Oh. I got up here. Oh. Hang on. Oh. No, he's still flopping. Oh, it's a double beard. Oh, cool. He's got like two. Probably nine inch beards. Oh, sure. And I just about threw up. <laughs> I got a little bit excited. Really? That's funny. Oh my goodness. Exciting morning. Got a feather missing from his fan. But uh first time I've ever turkey hunted this property, I walked in this morning not really knowing anything about what the birds do up here. And uh I wound up setting down I don't know 80 yards, a hundred yards of the roost tree. And first bird I heard talk was a hen this morning. Uh, the hen started to talk, and she probably yelped about, I don't know, three or four good times. And then the bird gobbled, and he's, I mean, he's right on top of me. So, as you've seen in the video, uh, he pitched down, I mean, picture perfect. It couldn't have been any better. Uh, I don't know, I, I missed him, just straight up missed him. And... Had three other birds start gobbling. Went to them. Wound up wading through the creek, soaking my feet. The water came over my boots. Uh, once I crossed the creek, they was in the opposite field on the far end of it. And there was no way for me to be able to make a move on them, so I just kind of let them go. Back back up. Crossed the creek again. Went and got back in the blind. Sat there in the blind for, I don't know, about three hours. I took my socks off took the insoles out of my boots, turned my boots upside down so I could have somewhat dry feet because I knew I wanted to be up here today. And <laughs> I hadn't been up here long. I just I started slipping down the road and uh, just doing 
turkey stuff. I was scratching with my feet in the leaves as I was walking and uh, making some soft calls. I'm on this roadbed here where I shot him. There's a roadbed that cuts back and there's just an island of trees in the center of this roadbed. Luckily, it's thick enough. He was just over the, the roll of the hill right here. And as I'm walking down, scratching and making soft calls, he hammered and he was like 50 yards when he called. So I, I jump around and find the best tree for me to get on, jump down on the tree, throw my cameras up, get everything situated, start scratching in the leaves beside me and he starts hammering. And he worked down the ridge, hit the road bed and came back up to me. I don't know if you can see him in the video or not, but as soon as his head crested the hill, I took my shot and of course, it's my first double beard I've ever killed. So uh, <laughs> I got a little excited. As you could see, I was, I was gagging and about threw up. So uh, it's just something I'm so passionate about and can't put the feelings into words, but man, it's been a good morning despite the miss and everything so hope y'all enjoyed it y'all be sure to follow along the rest of the season all right i wanted to show y'all something real quick so this morning there was a bird roosted right there and i was sitting over here on this line of trees bird pitched down in this field i missed him birds start gobbling in this field or the, the farther side of this field there's a big creek that borders it i crossed into this field just got inside the tree line heard them gobbling on the far end of it i figured i could pull them to me by coming back this way and calling to them they come out in that field and would not move they went back across so dummy me i'm going after them i cut back go in the woods back here, run down the creek, all the way back, my truck is parked right over there in the tree line. They walked right past my truck. I go back to my truck, cross over the creek, flooded my boots out. They were in that field about 200 yards down. I had no way to sneak on them. So I come all the way back and there's a blind. Where's that? Blind is right here right back here on this tree line. I was setting that blind, took my boots off, dried them out and everything. And sat there for about two hours. I come back and walk up this way. There's a road that goes up this hill. I walked all the way across that ridge line. And about right there is where I killed my bird. Made the hike back down left my GoPro in the blind, so I'm fixing to run to the blind, get my GoPro, and head to the truck. Won't you take